Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Massive fan of thank you your work. for taking the time. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've got to say, I absolutely fell in love with this series. As a mom of an 11 and 13 year old, just turned 13 year old daughter, it's like it's so important to find something that we can watch together as a family. So, can you talk about creating something that the entire family can enjoy? Well, you've already said what we've been saying. That's what we. That was our answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's what we hope that different generations can watch it and. Um, understand it and laugh at it and there's things for everyone in the family no matter it's harder for um, families to find something to watch together you know sort of like yeah, obviously there's you know the films and like you know but kids kind of they've, they've seen the film they don't want to watch that again and it's, yeah, it's nice to find something that's like got a yeah. great sense of adventure and celebrates that part of you know humans also touches on this idea of families and what you would do for family and how you can find family in the strangest of places but also, you know, something that's enjoyable for everyone and also touches on a subject we all love, which is this fantasy of traveling back to different time periods. Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff that's for kids and for adults, but not together. And, and it's a great thing to do together with your family is watch something and be able to discuss it together, laugh together. Yeah. Absolutely. And I've got to ask you guys about really kind of capturing the feel of the movie, but still bringing something new and actually having these like multiple episodes to be able to really explore this world and these characters. Yeah, that was, um, it was both a challenge, but also um, I think made it possibly more exciting as in terms of adapting some things. It wasn't just a straight remake of the film as another film. Um, we were careful not to get to you know, to, to draw too much too close from the the film because then what's the point? You might as well just watch the original. So we yeah. wanted to make our own version and sort of add our own flavor to it and spin it off. And then obviously with, with it being a series, you get more time with the characters to develop them and to develop their, their journeys and um, yeah. And talking to the crew is really difficult because, you know, Two weeks we're going to be in medieval Africa, but then we're going to be in medieval England, or then you know we're going to make all these different sets and costumes, hundreds of costumes. Uh, but they loved it too because often on a show you just do the same thing over and over again, or on a movie you just do the same thing every day, and, you, and the job is keeping it the same. Um, but this time, you know, okay, two weeks of this, then we've got a new thing, and that was yeah. loved. The variety was fun for them, and we're hoping for the audience it'll be fun to move from place to place as well. Absolutely, and each place is absolutely gorgeous, like between the sets and the costumes, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I've got to ask you guys about playing pure evil in The Supreme Being. Were you always, was that the plan for you guys to always do that? Because I literally can't imagine anyone else doing it. <laughs> oh, that's good. We No, we, um, we hoped to get higher caliber actors, maybe some who've had some acting lessons, uh, but we, did, we didn't manage to get any. Couldn't it afford, came too late in the end. Yeah, and we, we also couldn't afford it in our budget. Even though our budget is big, we couldn't afford to bring people back to do a few hours, like a few days work over six months that we took to shoot it. So um, we it, it just made sense that it was us because we, we'd be there. Uh, you, know. you guys agree. Thanks. <laughs> were we were so gonna play, originally we were going to play the opposite part. But then, really? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But then... Uh, you know, Taika likes to wear light pants and I wear dark pants, so As we you thought we swap. We thought we'd swap. We thought we'd do, you, you know, what we're used to. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to ask you guys a fun one. If you could go to any place in time, where would you visit? You were saying you wanted to see. We did a. I, did, I felt like I did a particularly bad uh, interview about an hour and a half ago. You want to go uh, back, go and, do back that again? and fix that one? You also mentioned that you want to go back and see the first time. Someone tried to scramble eggs and yeah. see how it happened. So I want to find when, when scrambled eggs were invented. Those, those kind of things, yeah, like the first time someone sang, like instead of talked or grunted, and then they made a note and then everyone would have just turned around first and First time someone, what, what the hell? Did you see what Lisa or, just or, did? Or the first time someone, Lisa, sure. someone, someone rhymed something and then did it again <laughs> and it again. It would have done it by mistake and people were like, that should be an art form. Yeah. You know, no, or maybe the first time someone did a pratfall, they pretended to hurt themselves for the entertainment <laughs> of others. Yeah. That would have been a big thing there, and then that person would have been treated like a real hero in that community, I think. 
Yeah, we do were, it again. Fall over again. We were reading about that in our research for this show. There was a guy who was the first actor, and no one had acted until <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, till this guy. And we were like, "What's he doing? He's not him." <laughs> you know, they had to see the first time. People, you know, the first time they showed that movie of the train coming into yeah. the theater and people ran out. I'd love to be in that audience. Yeah, that would be amazing. Oh, that's so fun. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. And uh, Jermaine, I really hope I get to see Tamatoa in Moana 2. Fingers crossed. So uh, it's possible. Thank, thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it.